It's probably safe to say that most of us have an aversion for insects. These creepy crawlies make their way into our homes and live amongst us with or without our permission. Worst of all, most of them come out of their burrows at night when we're sleeping. Just imagine one of these crawling into your ear while you're asleep. Just thinking about this gives me the goosebumps. Well, regular household bugs are one thing, but there's a whole range of crazy insects out there in the wild as well. Here are 10 insect predators with ingenious hunting skills that you've never seen before. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Here we go. Number 10. Antlion Larva Starting off this creepy crawly list are the antlions. Though at first it might seem like your average dragonfly flying about aimlessly and minding its own business, these insects are a different story altogether when they're small. As a larva, the antlion seems to be a whole different species. Here you see a sand funnel. Nothing unusual or insidious about it, but looks can be deceiving. Hiding underneath with bated breath is the larva of an antlion, and it's waiting for a prey to come near the funnel. The unsuspecting prey starts moving towards the funnel, and this movement gets picked up by the antlion larva. What happens next is quite spectacular. The larva flicks a bunch of sand into the air and temporarily confuses and startles the prey. The sand is like pieces of rock to these small insects, so it's enough to knock them out clean. The knocked-out victim falls to the bottom of the funnel, and the antlion's sickle jaw locks onto its body. The prey finally disappears beneath the sand and meets its end. What a way to go! The antlion employs this technique on various insects like beetles, caterpillars, ants and other small insects. It's quite surprising that this ruthless and sly predator eventually transforms into a pretty docile dragonfly. It's like starting a new life with a clean slate. Number 9. Hawaiian Eupithecia Caterpillar Here's another amazing example of nature doing its job in ensuring the survival of a species. Caterpillars are generally known to be herbivores and harmless, but that story doesn't hold up when you meet the Hawaiian Eupithecia caterpillars. They eat other insects. One theory for this odd choice of food selection is that Hawaii evolved in isolation, and there were no predatory insects here since early on, so the Eupithecia decided to fill in that niche. What's interesting is that the caterpillar has this unique shape, which almost looks like a twig or branch. The hind legs have the ability to grasp tightly onto stems and branches of a plant, while the upper four legs are able to facilitate in grabbing and holding its prey. Watch how it very quickly swoops down and grabs its meal. That insect didn't even see it coming. The caterpillar almost looks like a tube man used for advertising. Number 8. Emerald Cockroach Wasp Insects go through great lengths to survive and sometimes even resorting to controlling their prey. That's right, the emerald cockroach wasp is capable of controlling its prey or basically zombifying a cockroach using its bite, which has a paralyzing agent. This impressive wasp is quite a looker, but don't let that fool you. Once the cockroach is paralyzed, it doesn't entirely lose its motor functions. The wasp grabs it from its antenna and slowly moves it to the burrow. What happens next is something out of a horror movie. The wasp digs into the abdomen of the cockroach and lays its eggs inside. The larvae which is growing inside will slowly emerge from the abdomen and consume the cockroach and its pupates for nourishment. Sounds like a scene from the movie Alien where the facehugger erupts from the human chest. What a gruesome way to die. Number 7. Predatory Fireflies the sight of fireflies flying around signifies the start of summer, but not with this guy. This is the predatory firefly found in the tropical forests of Peru, or it looks like one at least. They're actually glowing larvae, which attract its prey using glow. They'd usually do this by burrowing into the mud with only their heads sticking out. When a prey comes along within their reach, they burst out from their hole and lunge up and grab it using their huge jaws. Scientists also believe that these larvae can control the intensity of their glow based on the potential for their catch. If there's a predator around, they will dim the intensity. What a clever little creature! Number 6. Assassin Bugs The assassin bugs have truly earned their name through their hunting methods. They look rather odd, almost like an anteater with its abnormally long beak. But the other insects and even larger animals would stay clear of this one. Strange long beak is not just a nose, but also the assassin's weapon. The assassin bugs are stealthy hunters where they ambush their prey and puncture the soft tissue with a the beak, then fills its catch with a digestive juice which turns the entrails into a soupy meal to be consumed. They work very fast and very efficiently, hence their name. 
When pickings are slim in the insect department, they have also been known to drink blood of bats and even humans. Nothing is outside the menu for these insatiable insects. I wouldn't want to wake up to one of these bugs on my body. Number 5. Epimus beetles Most of these insects are natural-born predators once they mature, but some are predatorial even from birth. There's no learning curve for this species since they're ready to hunt from the moment they're born. The epimus beetles are known to be hereditary amphibian killers. Basically, they start hunting things like frogs at the start of their life cycle. It'll usually bait a frog into attacking it and then attack back and wound the leg tendons of the victim. Even though the frog is larger than the predatory beetles, the frogs can't swallow and digest the insect and ultimately have to spit it out. The insect behaves like an ectoparasite which feeds on the bodily juices of its victims. If the beetle is nearing its maturity, it could even slowly consume the tissue of the prey, leaving it with just its bones. It's a slow and painful death for this poor thing. Number 4. Polycate Worm What hides beneath this ocean floor and lunges to grab its prey in a flash? It's the predatory sea polycate worm, which lives at a depth of 10 to 40 meters in tropical waters. The adults of this species can reach up to 2 to 3 meters long and burrow under the soil with only their head sticking out. The head comprises of five antenna-like structures which essentially help to detect an incoming prey in the surroundings. Once the prey, or in this case a fish, comes close enough to the worm, it grabs it with its powerful mouth and pulls it down into the hole. The whole thing happens in such a flash that it's hard to even know what happened. Its prey probably didn't even realize what was going on until it was too late. Just look at this unsuspecting octopus being grabbed in a split second. What happens past this point is still a mystery to scientists. We can only theorize that maybe the worm injects the prey with some paralyzing venom and slowly devours it alive. The polycate worm might be a formidable predator, but it does rock a nice color at least. Number 3. Giant Water Bugs Finally, we come to these horrifying hunters. The giant water bugs are not a rare species and they're found all over the world. They have about 150 genera, which is a lot of variety of these skilled predators. These insects can grow up to 10 to 15 centimeters and hunt in ambush. They latch onto their prey using their curved front legs with hooks. Escaping their grasp is almost impossible. What's most surprising is that these bugs don't just hunt insects, but also fish, frogs, and even snakes. Check out this unlucky snake which tries hard to escape its grip, but without any luck. Once the water bug grabs its prey, it uses its proboscis to inject a paralyzing venom. The venom also contains a digestive enzyme which melts the internal organs of the victim into a mush, waiting to be sucked up by the water bug. Sounds like a torturous end, but that's just how they hunt. Their size might be frightening in itself, but their method of hunting is even more terrifying. Number 2. Spiders if you suffer from arachnophobia, then this one will probably make you want to close your eyes shut. It's no surprise that spiders are incredible hunters with their impressive agility. We generally imagine spiders setting up elaborate nets in and around a den and waiting for a potential prey to get trapped. But not all spiders follow this tactic. Some prefer to get right into the action by actively ambushing prey and devouring it. These interesting spiders who live in clever burrows with flaps follow the ambush method. It's pretty amazing that a spider made these flap-like doors using stuff from the environment like dirt and plants. Since it's made with whatever is around, the door blends in perfectly with the surroundings. The spider then waits patiently under the flap until prey comes snooping around the door. Next thing you know, bam! The spider grabs it in a matter of seconds and immediately disappears back into the hole, probably to feed its family waiting for the meal. The female of this species lives their entire life underground and can live up to 20 years. That's a lot of time for a spider. If you ever see a flap like this in the wild, best not to pry it open. Number 1. Flathead Ants Spiders aren't the only ones when it comes to clever hunting methods around their habitat. These incredible tree ants of the Cephalote species are masters in their hunting game as well. In the community, these tree ants are a branch of soldier ants which have a flattened head. It looks unusual, but it serves a purpose. Any unlucky prey which wanders into their nest will be sealed inside by these heads, which act like a cork and block all the entrances. Needless to say, there's no getting out, and the trapped prey eventually becomes the meal for the whole colony. Nature wins once again. Well, those are some of the craziest hunting methods ever seen in the wild. Not even apex predators like the cheetah or tiger come close to the way these insects kill their prey. Which one was your favorite out of the list, and which creeped you out the most? Let us know in the comments. For more such informative and interesting content, be sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. See ya!